Mike Moore Media. Happy New Year to Eddie McGee, Executive Director of the Stokes County Arts Council. He's on the line. Hey, Eddie. Hey, Mike. Happy New Year to you. Happy 2023. Yeah. Well, we've jumped right in. It's busy already at uh, Stokes County Arts Council. And uh, have, you, have you warmed up from the from the plunge? Uh, and thank you for bringing up the plunge, Mike. <laughs> okay, it's, uh, so, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll recap here. Uh, that was January 1st, New Year's Day 2023. We had our, our, our annual Hanging Rock Polar Plunge. And, uh, wow, what a, an incredible day. Air temperature, Mike, was about 64 degrees. Mm. Water temperature was around 39 to 40 degrees, Ooh. and which was uh, kind of caught us all by surprise. <laughs> yeah. um, we had about, uh, I think, a little over 90 people in costume that went into the water, and about another three or 400 spectators. Phenomenal day. I mean, just, uh, I, I, I tell you, it's just one of the just great ways of taking in, uh, bringing in the new year. I'd say good for those three to four hundred spectators, <laughs> no, and, and certainly uh, good for all of the the plungers there too. Yeah, they went yeah. in and out in a hurry though, probably didn't they? They did. Yeah. They did. And and uh, I always uh, well, the park is is just full, especially on a day like that where where it's so so nice, and mm-hmm. they have their uh, you know first year hikes, and there's a lot going on in the park, and it's just absolutely packed with people. Yeah, which is. Which is great, and there's food, and you know we got hot dogs and chili and chicken stew, and the, the, mm. the DJ just uh, just ramping up the music, and it's uh, you got all these people in costumes, and uh, but I, you know the fun thing for me, Mike, I, I make announcements. We get down on the beach, and I usually stick stick my toe in the water just to get a feel mm. of what what the temperature is. Yeah, <laughs> and, and this year, yeah, you know, I'm thinking it's 64 degrees outside. Surely this water's going to be like last year mm-hmm. when it was 52. But last year it was warmer leading up. You know, we had that little cold uh, snap yeah, here yeah. at Christmas. And Mike Moore, let me tell you, brother, <laughs> it did not warm up the lake at all. Mm, and so uh, didn't work. Okay. we went in and we got out. and um, But but it's just a great time. Just uh, just absolutely great time. And uh, I love it. It's so invigorating and refreshing and it's it's you know it's thirty seconds to I guess a minute or less and uh, but boy it's it's a cold minute brother let me tell you. <laughs> well, I do like invigorating and refreshing. That's for sure. Yeah, and I'm, I'm looking at I'm looking back on my calendar and I see we had snow. I have here big snow on this day, two thousand four. And I you you may have too. I, I have you ever had um, uh, snow and rain or something like that on, on one of those uh, January ones. We have had rain, and then you know we had in 2018. I don't know if you remember when the we had the lake was frozen. Oh, Everything was frozen up here. Yeah. The waterfalls were frozen in 2018. That was the year we had to break the ice. <laughs> it was our lowest number. We only had probably maybe 35 or 40 people go in, mm-hmm. and uh, I actually cut my legs on the ice oh, and wow. had to have a little bit of uh, emergency medical care. But um, so we have had, and we've had a couple times where there's been a, a light mist, cold rain, and uh, you know we still we still go in. But the 2018 is the one we will not forget. I, because, bet, uh, I bet not. Uh, yeah, and yeah, they, and, and, and there were probably uh, more people there uh, to take the plunge until they saw the blood, <laughs> and then probably. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I remember, Mike, when I, cr- when I yeah, when I crawled in the ambulance after 2018, I, I made the uh, paramedic close the door, and I said, "It won't look good if the director is bleeding." <laughs> right. Okay, yeah, not a good way to promote the event. Yeah, yeah. but that's uh, what I was. Thinking. But this this was a great year, and, and 2023 is it's here, it's on its way, and we're and we're just we're ready to go. Okay, so. I know you are. Yep, we love uh, all the good things you bring us through the year. So uh, let's uh, let's get the calendars out and see what's coming. Yeah. Well, uh, our current, currently we have in the Apple Gallery, we have a, uh, a wonderful artist, Melody Hunter. This is her first time uh, exhibiting with us, an uh, abstract art exhibit uh, now through, I guess, the middle of February. And uh, she is a Piedmont-based, you know, even though here we're here in Stokes County, Mike, we support artists, not only Stokes County, Forsyth, Rockingham, 
uh, Patrick County, Surrey, the whole area of the Piedmont and Southern Virginia, and we just try to include as many artists as we can. But but the Melody is just she had a great reception, uh, I guess last week, and uh, just a wonderful exhibit uh, to kick off our new year and, and having a new artist. So we're excited about her, and now we've got we've got a lot of programs coming up, and they'll they're just going to be listed uh, by the end of the week. Uh, I know there's not a now, but February, March are going to be spectacular as far as programs. Uh, Friday, February 10th, we've got Daryl Van Leer and his band coming from Nashville. Hmm. He's an incredible pianist, and his Friday show is Motown in Seoul. And Saturday, February the 11th, Las Vegas, Las Vegas experience, also with Daryl Van Leer and his band. And they've got a horn section. They're just a phenomenal uh, musicians, but they'll be playing everything from Ray Charles, Sam Cooke, Stevie Wonder, Michael Jackson, the Doobie Brothers. Uh, good gracious, mm. it just runs the gamut. Wow. They've got costume changes. It, it's, uh, and again, it. he's a Nashville performer. Yeah, it and so great. we're just excited to have. He and I have been here in about eight or nine years and, and has a following here, so we're, we'll, we're excited to have him. Mm-hmm. Daryl back here. Okay, great. The date on and, that again, you said? Uh, February 10th and 11th. And all again, right. all of this will be, we're working on getting it uploaded now to our website and our social media pages. So, okay. Uh, by the end of this week, everything will be updated, Mike. Um, let's see here. What else do we have? On February the 18th, we've got a, a, a one-person play, Mr. Peter, Peter Holland's Lincoln. He's going to bring, be bringing Abraham Lincoln to life. And that's on the 18th. I don't think we have a time yet, but look for that on our website. One person show, um, and again February 18th. That'll be here at the Arts Place. Mm-hmm. Perfect for President's Day, President's Month, all of that. Yeah. Yes, that, correct. Yes, yeah, not far off from Washington's birthday, and like you said, President's Day. Mm-hmm. Uh, February 19th, we've got Anthony Davis and the Gospel Intruders. This is our Black History Month. They are just a phenomenal group of musicians locally. They'll be doing. Uh, this is a free concert here in the Arts Place, and uh, wow, what a band and and what a group! And again, Anthony Davis and the Gospel Intruders. That's here at the Arts Place. Um, February 26th is Johnny Cash's birthday, mm-hmm. and we're celebrating with a gentleman named Jonathan Birch- Birchfield. He's got a trio that's going to be here, and it's a Johnny and June show. So uh, there'll be a lot of uh, you know Carter family songs, but also Johnny Cash, and we'll have dessert with that show. That's on the 26th. Uh, again, we'll hopefully have tickets and all this available by the end of the week. But we got to celebrate the Man in Black. Mm-hmm. I mean, that's just a that's a given. So Love Johnny Cash. All this is in, mm. Oh my gosh, yeah, who doesn't? That's I mean, you talk about the someone that really represents. I think the best of America, mm-hmm. and looking back at his life and, and legacy. So, and I'm looking, we're enjoy that. I'm looking at the calendar, and that is a Sunday. So, uh, I hope he does uh, Sunday morning coming down. Oh, oh my! There you that, go. That I think that was oh, a, Chris Christopherson wrote that. If I'm not mistaken, you're exactly correct. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. But uh, so look for all these. This is our February schedule. January has been somewhat light uh, since we had to recover from the polar plunge. <laughs> but February, so much more. Oh yeah. And then March, uh, we're going to have bluegrass. We'll have storytelling. We've got uh, a, a program on March 18th called The Gathering from the Cherokee Ch- Historical Association. If anybody's ever been to see the outdoor drama Unto These Hills, mm-hmm. this is a touring version of that by Easter Band of the Cherokee Teenagers. So it's a young cast. Uh, the, this, is, this is their first show of this tour. It'll be here in Stokes County on March the 18th, and we're so we're so happy they're coming here. They're going to be in our schools as well. Oh, so, wow. So, uh, yeah, February, March, Mike, are just looking incredible. And I'm going to go ahead and give you a heads up on something that's going to be here in June. Okay. And uh, I'm just going to say one word, Dolly. Oh, and, okay. And uh, it'll be a play, and um, anybody that, that – I'll go ahead and say Dolly Parton, but, <laughs> but – uh, we we are. Uh, I've had a conversation yesterday with. Uh, um, this is a theatrical performance. They've been performing this in the Las Vegas area, but Stokes County Arts Council will be the first on the East Coast mm. to bring Dolly Parton to life in a one-woman theatrical show. This will be in June. 
so we're we're always just trying to live right there on the edge and uh, bring new and exciting things. So uh, February is going to be a great month. March is a great month, Mike. And the future, we're we're working already for spring and summer programming. Oh, it sounds great! It sounds great as always. Yeah, yeah. And, and we all yeah. love Dolly too. Yeah, and and she's been in the yeah. in the news here just uh, yesterday. Uh, she and uh, her uh, god daughter Miley Cyrus they announced yesterday. Yeah. You may have seen that big uh, New Year's Eve celebration um, uh, at the end of this. So planning ahead on that too. Yeah, on NBC. Oh wow! Yeah, I didn't know about that. I yeah. know, I've, I've seen Dolly in that uh, eighty for Brady mm-hmm. movie that's coming up. I right. think they've got the soundtrack for that where she's singing. Mm-hmm. And uh, I mean, yeah, again, much like Johnny Cash, just uh, an icon and. Uh, you know, anybody that goes up to Sevierville or Pigeon Forge, Gatlinburg, can see the impact she's had on that area. That's exactly so, right. Uh, and, and an impact so, uh, on, we, like, like Johnny Cash, an impact on our lives, too, for many, many years. Oh, absolutely. Mm-hmm. Oh, the way, just, just the way that they lived. Yeah. And so, yeah. uh, uh, so we're excited about this. Uh, again, this is a, a one-woman Dolly theatrical performance, and that'll be coming up in June. We'll be announcing that very, very soon. And... Uh, but but I just love, we, we try to think outside the box here, Mike, mm-hmm. and just uh, uh, I, I love our team over here, our volunteers, our board, our staff, and so uh, um, you know we're we just we're just doing everything we can with the cultural arts in in this area of North Carolina. Thank you for making it happen for us at the Stokes County Arts Council. And, and uh, I feel uh, privileged, and our listeners should too, because you've given us kind of a sneak preview here, Eddie, because it's uh, not up on yeah. your social media pages. So kind of like breaking news. So thank you. You're the first to hear it, Mike. Absolutely. You're the first to hear it. Well, you've got a lot of first. From what you're saying, you've got a lot of first too. Some of those things here at Stokes County Arts Council first. That's always exciting. It is. It is. And that's, again, we like we like diversity and we like trying new things and, and exposing uh, new arts experiences for our for our populations. And, uh, you know, the area we live in here, Mike, and, and you know this, Stokes, Rockingham, this this these are just great people. Mm-hmm. And and we just uh, it's like one big family. And so we like sharing great experiences and creating good memories. And uh, we appreciate you as always for supporting us and really getting the word out there and uh, uh, always encouraging. You're, you're the best, Mike Moore. Oh, you're the best, Eddie McGee. <laughs> well, we still need you. to we still need to pay a visit to you, and we'll we'll get up there soon. Sounds good. All Sounds right, good. all right, Eddie. Thank right. you very much. I appreciate it. Appreciate you and your team, and uh, we'll talk again next month. Sounds good. Thank you, Mike. Okay, bye-bye. You too. Mm -hmm. I am. That's Eddie McGee, Executive Director of the Stokes County Arts Council. He said, be blessed at the end, and we are uh, every day, and we're certainly blessed to have Stokes County Arts Council uh, just close by so we can get to all of these wonderful things coming up. So I hope you are listening and maybe taking notes on some of the things uh, to put on your calendar. You can get more information on Facebook at Stokes County Arts Council. And then Eddie said by the end of the week, he'll have uh, more of those uh, events and programs listed too. And uh, don't forget the website, that's stokesarts.org. Thanks for your support.